We have an update on the fragile health of Lolita. The 56-year-old orca, also known as Toki, is said to be getting better and stronger as she continues to recover at the Miami Sea Aquarium. Our Louis Aguirre has been closely monitoring this developing story and joins us now from the newsroom with more. Louis. Well, Nicole and Calvin, the news is reportedly good, and those caring for Toki say if she continues on this current path, she might be strong enough to eventually be moved out of that tiny tank where she's lived for the past 53 years. All of her uh, vital signs are good, and she's active, um, and she remains the extraordinary uh, survivor that she's been for 50-plus years. New drone footage from Friday and encouraging news from Friends of Lolita, the nonprofit now working with the Miami Aquarium to provide care for Tokate, the 56-year-old orca who's been kept here for 53 years. In terms of her appetite right now, it's coming back strong. Um, she ate, I believe, 50 pounds yesterday. We're looking at potentially 75 pounds today. Though far shy from the 160 pounds she's used to eating daily, she's reportedly become more active and responsive. 12 days ago, the Miami Aquarium posted this alarming health update on its Facebook page, claiming she lost her appetite and was suffering from a recurring respiratory infection. What she experienced a little over 10 days, 12 days ago, uh, was a downturn. And now she has rebounded as she has many times in the past and everything looks very positive, but she still has that infection. And though her tank still looks dirty and green in color, the group insists the water is good. Um, all of the filters have been changed. There's no chillers being put in. They're paying a lot of attention, a lot of effort and money is being spent and has been spent on the water quality. Toki was officially retired from performing back in March when the aquarium was sold to its new owners, the Dolphin Company. Now, friends of Lolita claim these new owners are on board with a plan to eventually move Toki out of the aquarium and back to the Salish Sea, where she was violently taken from her family when she was barely four years old. First step, get her health stabilized. Um, and then the second step, keep it stabilized and then look at a potential future move, um, which of course has to be done with her interest first and foremost at heart, but also you've got the federal government and regulations. And the plan is to move her to a natural sea pen like this one, where she'd have much more room to swim, receive the same care and food that she does today, and with the possibility of reuniting with her family, the Elpod, that still swims these Pacific Northwest waters. We've identified really three different sites, all of which are possible, following the engagement of both federal and state government then a proponent can identify and begin to permit one of those three sites. We think it can be done. She's an extraordinary creature to have the will to live as long as she has in the circumstances she's lived. If we can, whatever we can do, whatever we must do, we will make every effort to get her back. We reached out to the Miami Aquarium for confirmation on all of this. They have yet to respond, but friends of Lolita say this aquarium will be part of a joint announcement next week about an upcoming conference with all the stakeholders that will outline the plan to move Toki out of this aquarium and to that seaside sanctuary, provided her health continues to improve. Stay tuned.